We're talking right now with the Carroll Boys 4x400 relay here. We'll start off with Cooper LaRue, who started things off today. Cooper, how did you feel here today? Well, I thought it started out really good when I was handing off to Dylan. I saw there's two guys ahead of me on my outside lanes, but and I'm not sure who everyone else was. Where was the strongest part of the 400, and, and what was your strategy kind of looking to run it here today? Um, my best part's always the first 300, and then I usually die at the end. <laughs> Try to take really long strides all the way around and just keep going fast. Did you feel like you died that last 100 today, or were you a little stronger? Uh, I, thought, I thought I was a lot stronger. It was more like the last, like, 50. I don't know. You start hurting a lot, and it gets a lot harder to run. What were, what were you looking to do today? Um, I was hoping to... Being first or second when I handed it off and run about a 50 split. Do you feel like you came close to that? Yeah, I think I did. Cooper, what's it been like down here at State for you? Fourth place finish in the high jump, so it's been pretty productive for you. Yeah, it's been, it was a lot better than last year. Yeah. Any highlights for you? Um, definitely high jump. This, we probably won't make finals, but it's happy I got fourth in that. Well, I tell you what, Cooper, I appreciate you joining us here tonight. Congratulations down here. Nice. Let's move on now to Dillard Miller on Dillard running the second leg here tonight. And at Dillard, how did you feel handoff went? And then how did you feel maybe that first 100, 200 went for you? Uh, I felt the handoff was really good from LaRue and then my handoff to Mallard. Um, and then 200, usually I just stride that out, but it's all the guys picking the pace up, so I started to pick it up too with them. How'd that affect your back half in the last 200? Uh, affected it a little, but I still was up there with all the other guys. Pretty good kick down the straightaway, did you think? Yeah. Yeah. What was the strongest part of the race for you, you think? Um, probably the beginning of the handoff, hopefully the first 100. Did you guys work on handoffs much for a 4x4? Four four? Generally, it's one of the easier handoffs, most people uh, say. We worked on them on, before we came here, we worked on getting out faster, three steps, and then looking back and getting it. What were you looking forward to with this 4x400? Four uh, to get, like, top three, four, and get, maybe get to finals. What are you going to take away from the 4x400 four as a learning experience? Uh, pace, yourself, pace yourself a little bit better, see how far you can do. Okay. Well, Dylan, appreciate you joining us. Good job here today. Let's move on now to Mason Millard, who ran the third leg here today. Mason, how are you feeling right now? Oh, well, my crap, but it's a 400, so. Uh, was strategy for you, what, what do you think about when you got the 400s coming up? How do you like to go out and run them? You know it's going to suck at the end, so I feel like you might as well just go out, all out because it's going to suck no matter what. So I don't know. That's how I feel about it. Sprint the whole thing. Do, do you, do you, are you able to get through the whole thing in, in the sprint, or is there an area in there where you, where you lag just a little? You know, I guess the last the last 100, you know you're not going to run as fast as you can. So I try to slow down about the last the, the back half, and then so you, have, you can go all out on the home stretch. Were you able to do that today? Were you able to kind of hold your, your strategy together? Yeah, I felt pretty good running and everything, so I felt like that went pretty good. This is a highlight for you being down here this year. You know, it's my first time down here the last few years. I missed it pretty, you know, I was pretty close. It just felt really good to finally come here and experience the whole thing. What's, what's maybe the one thing that's happened? Qualifiers to the finals. What's kind of, the, boys what's kind of that four, one thing that's Shelburne, happened that's kind of stood out for you today? Gilbert. Carlisle, Algona, I like to compete with the best of the Bishop best, Healy, State, so Center Point, Creston, like Spirit Lake Park. Well, Mason, I appreciate you joining us. Good job today. Thank you. Let's talk now with that anchor leg, Isaac Rizelman. Isaac uh, looked like you got out pretty solid, uh, and then I was really pressed uh, with what you had left on that last hundred. I ran it kind of strategically because I know it's Mason's first time down here. He really wanted to make finals, so I gave him my all, and I ran strategically. I stayed right behind that Sabres kid. And that last 200, I started pushing him a little bit, see if I could push him to his limit. That last 100, I had him at his limit, and I just took off as fast as I could. My legs were burning like no other, but I didn't care. I was going to go as hard as I could. Did you have anything left when you got to the finish line here today? No. I was so close to just collapsing right after I hit that line. Like, I leaned into it to get that good finish, and about went head over heels right there and just rolled it. But I kept it up, and... Walked back, and now I'm feeling real good. It looks like and sounds like this group pretty tight. You guys are pretty tight-knit group, are you? Oh, yeah. The entire team is. No matter what you're running, no matter what relay you're in, everybody is, like, family. I mean, yeah, you disappoint one another every now and then, but we're forgiving, and we get back, regroup, and run the next race faster. <laughs> what do you contribute that family feeling to? Coaching, really. Our coaches are amazing. I mean, they, they just preach on sticking together and 
just being one, really. Well, I tell you what, guys, I really have appreciated it here today. Isaac, congratulations. Thanks, guys. Thank you.